Hello everybody. It's been forever since the last time you guys have seen me, but I am officially back doing what I love, which is helping you guys. But here's a quick life update that is going to benefit you guys greatly. The Lord has blessed me and my husband with another baby girl. So now when I record these videos, you guys will be able to see it from a toddler perspective and a baby's perspective. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So far, all I've done is wet my daughter's hair with just some water and a little bit of conditioner. And now getting started with the style, I am just parting the hair out as if I'm doing a half up, half down style. I'm gonna insert a picture of the gel that I'm using at the top right of the screen. Y'all, no lie, this stuff is literally a staple in our household. This stuff honestly keeps their hair so slick and smooth. And I've noticed with using the lock and jam, it helps with the longevity of the style. So now that I have gotten the part straight for the half up, half down, I am now taking the back section and parting it diagonally. So what I find to be most helpful is just doing a quick part and then taking the jam and then perfecting the part after that. Now I'm just making sure that the part is straight and it is, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom section and part off a third of it, take some of that gel, slick it down real good and go ahead and put it in a rubber band. Y'all, it is really easy to accidentally make the rubber band too tight, so please make sure you're checking your tension throughout this entire style. Now that that first rubber band is in, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second part. And we're basically gonna do the exact same thing, but we're going to grab the first ponytail and connect it with the second. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while and you've watched the last two videos that I've done with my daughter, you guys will see just how big my baby girl has gotten and how much her hair has grown, y'all. Like, my heart just cannot take it. Right here is an example of me checking the tension. And now we're going to just repeat the last step and connect the second ponytail to the third ponytail. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and move to the next section and repeat the same exact steps. Okay, so for the last ponytail, we're gonna now take everything and pull it all together. And this is what you should be left with. And for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is and go ahead and part out our top section. As I've stated in previous videos, I use my daughter's hairline as a guide on where exactly I wanna draw my parts. And right now you're just watching me kinda of try to figure out where exactly I want the part to be. And just kinda of trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do the style still. Cause honestly y'all, sometimes I go in with a plan and it just ends up going in a completely different direction. So you guys are kinda of just watching that in real time. <laughs> And y'all, me personally, I like to make sure my daughter's hair has like a lot of character to it. So I was going to go with a straight line, but then I was like, 
how can I make this a little more fun but still keep the ponytails equal? So here is where I just decided to make it a zigzag part. And I ended up liking this, so this is what we went with. Now that I got it parted out how I want it finally, I'm gonna go in with some curl forming custard by Design Essentials and go ahead and start working that through the hair so that it is easy for me to go ahead and detangle and make sure that I get the slickest ponytail possible. And now that I got everything detangled, I'm gonna go ahead and take that locking gem and go ahead and start slicking that ponytail back. And right here is where I decided to go ahead and take that back section and just put it in a small little braid just to help with the longevity of the style and to add a little more fun to the style as well. And now I'm just taking everything and putting it in a rubber band. And y'all, one thing about me, I really love to take a simple style, which is, in this case, it would be pigtails, and just make it super fun and different. And I feel like this is just the perfect way to execute that. And now we're finally at the end of the style, guys. So we're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing we did with the first. We're going to take the custard and work it through, detangle the hair. And after that, we're going to take the locking jam and go ahead and slick that ponytail and put it in a rubber band. Please forgive me, guys. I lost some footage there. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into my youngest daughter's hair. In this video, she is eight months old. So as you guys can see, she did kind of bald in the back when she was a little younger, but it is starting to finally come in. So we're gonna do the exact same style with her, but we are modifying it just a little bit just to keep that bald spot growing in. Um, and instead of doing the two sections in the back, we're just gonna keep it with one section in the back and just pretty much do everything the exact same way. And y'all, watching this video back just reminds me so much of when my first baby girl was this young. Well, she actually wasn't this young in the videos, but still, when I was recording my first daughter and she was doing all that moving and fussing and crying and carrying on, yeah. This one right here, she's next level. Like, she do not play the radio. She does not like getting her hair done. She doesn't like having anything done to her. She doesn't like sitting still. So just imagine. Well, you don't have to imagine because you can see what she's doing and how she is really, really giving it to me right now. And just like I did with my oldest, I would just hand her all type of stuff just to keep her occupied so that I can get through the style. It really doesn't work that much with my youngest, but I, it's still worth a try. I just I just try my best, y'all. So that's the best advice I can give if you have a baby this young and you're trying to do her hair. Um, just give them what they want so you can get through the style or just give them something random. Um, of course, within reason, but you all know what I mean. Just something to keep them occupied. I mean, y'all just look at her like she is not playing with me, like <laughs> at all. Oh, don't cry, Tank Mama. Don't cry, baby. It's okay. Mommy almost finished. We just got to get through. And y'all, same thing, just using my daughter's hairline to determine where I'm going to put the parts. And now we're just going to go ahead and start slicking the ponytails. As y'all can see, baby girl was just not having it at all. But it's okay because we made it through, y'all. You can barely see that she had a bald spot at all. 
and here is the finished look for both of my daughters they look absolutely adorable and i am just absolutely in love with this style i can honestly say that this was probably one of my favorite styles that i've done on them and here's just some more angles for you guys um honestly this style lasted for two weeks and it honestly could have went for a third but i just like to you know do their hair pretty frequently so um I did end up taking it out after the two weeks, but it definitely could have went for a third. So this style is definitely a go-to if you need something quick and easy to do, and it's very beginner friendly. So this pretty much concludes my first video being back on YouTube and doing these tutorials for you guys. If you found this video helpful and you're looking for more quick and easy styles to do on your babies, toddlers, and small children, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as I will be posting every Friday just so you guys can have the videos for the top of the weekend so that you can get your girls ready for the beginning of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.